Hydrocephalus affects about one out of every 500 children. The condition causes excessive fluid on the brain. Today, Jennifer Alex Jeans and Sarah Lloyd O'Connell are here to share one family's story about their battle with the illness, and they're also going to tell us how you could help out. Uh, there's an upcoming walk, but first, welcome to Connecticut Style. Nice to have you both here. Thank you. Uh, Jen, explain to us in detail a little bit more about hydrocephalus. Hydrocephalus is excess cerebral spinal fluid on a brain. What happens is the ventricles fill up with cerebral spinal fluid and push the brain up against the skull. And in order to treat that, um, an individual needs to have a shunt surgically implanted on the brain to drain the fluid throughout the body. Okay, now it's not just children though that can be affected no. with this. No, um, it can be, uh, adults can have it as well as the elderly. Um, so Jen, you are personally affected by this. Yes. Uh, your sister Alexandria, tell us her yes. story. My identical twin sister um, has it. She was diagnosed with it um, six weeks after birth and um, to date she's had over 200 brain surgeries. Oh, how is she doing? Um, she's doing very, um, very, very well. She um, hasn't had a brain surgery in over seven years. Oh, good. Um, now, Sarah, let's invite you into the conversation. Tell us about your son, Brady. Well, my son, Brady, was diagnosed when he was three and a half months with hydrocephalus in March of 2011. And from March 2011 to July 2011, he had three surgeries, uh, one of them being the shunt implantation. And he's been surgery free since oh, July good. 2011, knock on wood. In fact, we have some pictures. Let's put them up uh, on the screen. A picture of uh, him and his dad, I think, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now you guys had buttons last year. In fact, you're we wearing the, one of the buttons. Yes, yes. At our um, second annual hydrocephalus walk last year, we had little buttons of Brady made. Very nice. Now, who are we looking at here? Is that, that is my husband, Tim, and Brady. Oh, That's from Brady. last year's walk, the second annual. I understand he's quite the ladies' man. He is. He <laughs> is. He has many, many girlfriends, Jen being one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. And that is uh, Alexandria? Yes, that's me and my sister from last year's walk. We had uh, team shirts. Each uh, team at the walk has a shirt made, and last year we made tie-dyed shirts. That's great. Uh, so, Jen, why don't you tell me a little bit about this year's walk, when it is, and how people can get involved. Um, this year's walk is uh, Saturday, September 21st at Meadowview Park in Middlebury, and in order for teams to, or an individual to participate in the walk, they can go to Connecticut and anybody can register. Um, so everyone's invited and Every also invited to take uh, to buy these bracelets. Yes. Let me see those bracelets. Put those up for us. How pretty. Um, explain to what we're looking at. Blue is a, a color. Of um, the teal blue is the color of um, uh, the hydrocephalus ribbon. Um, and what they are is each bracelet, 50% um, of the proceeds go to our walk. Um, we have children's bracelets, boys as well as men's as, and uh, little girls. And um, a friend of mine, actually, um, Jenny, makes them for us. Oh, good. And um, we um, have a, a website. It's um, Bracelets for Hope. It is on Facebook. And um, you can actually um, get them on the walk page as well. And um, all of the proceeds will go towards our walk. And they're so pretty. Yeah. Why, why not, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, they are actually pretty cool. Um, Sarah, tell me about your experience last year. Um, last year was the second annual hydrocephalus walk, and it was uh, each year I think it's getting better and better. This year we've raised a little money so far, and sure. we're looking forward to a third annual. Um, but it, it's a great organization to come together and everybody support each other and have a lot of fun. Great. Um, we've had great weather so far the last yeah, couple of years, so we're hoping for that. <laughs> uh, Jen, just give us uh, one more time the date, the time, and how people can find um, more info. It's September 21st at Meadowview Park in Middlebury, Connecticut. Registration starts at 9. It is a family fun event. We um, allow dogs. and oh, good. <laughs> everybody has a lot of fun. We have kids' activities, and um, we have Frankie's Hot Dogs again this year. Added today. bonus, right? And um, <laughs> we have cupcakes, and um, Coles comes and donates for their volunteers and um, you can go to www.walkforhydro.contera.org slash Connecticut. All right, we'll find it there. Jen, Sarah, thanks so much for sharing your stories with us. Thank you. Thank you. All right, coming up next, we are heading over into the kitchen with Nancy Parent. Wait till you see these cupcakes. We're going to show you how to make them after the break.